Don J. Luminous Horizon shedding light on limited perceptions is always welcome. Let me tell you something. Too many of you are focusing on the straightaway path of life. And what I mean by the straightaway path, uh, kids who've grown up rebellious, sometimes those are the most successful people in the world because they question what's original. Let me tell you something. You don't need that bachelor's. You don't need that master's. Uh, you don't need that certification, depending on what you're trying to do. There's always an avenue to do something outside of the way you've already known. You got to be able to come up in life and challenge the things that you've seen. So if you want to be a doctor, yeah, you're going to need that bachelor's. If you want to be a lawyer, yeah, you're going to need that bachelor's. You, you got, you're going to need that degree. But if you're trying to do something along the realm, you just want to make money. You don't have to chase the bachelor's guys and gals. You have to get to a point in life where you realize the way I want to reach success is going to be different. I wanted to be a drummer. Let me explain this to you. I wanted to be a drummer. I just wanted to be a drummer going tour. That was it. Go on, be a drummer going tour. God halted me in such a way that when I started, man, I had my first my first tour. And I got back home and I'm like, man, that was amazing. And then everything just dried up. He halted me in a way that he started showing me that what I really wanted was to provide my insight. I wanted to provide my creativity to people and just see how the reaction was, see how people liked my creativity. And when I started to see that people liked it, I'm like, oh, this is great. But it came in various forms. Dude, I went into a sales job. They gave me a way to sell. And I'm like, ah, well, you just keep asking. And if they say no, you take a step onto their porch and then you do this. And you, I'm like, that's no, hell no. So what I would do, as soon as I get there, I say, hey, guys, man, I'm feeling good. You go down the street. I'm feeling really good. You go down. You're sure? You're only a weekend. I'm good. Trust me, I'm good. I know the importance of people. I'm good. You guys go down the street. Go down the street. And I'm like, hey, sir, I know you probably heard about solar before. If you haven't, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. I'm going to state some facts for you, and you tell me if you want this or not. Okay, um, I'm not really interested. You know what? Appreciate you. Thank you for your honesty. If you ever change your mind, here is my card. As far as I'm concerned, this is a seed sown. Thank you for your time. I don't want to waste no more of your time. Thank you so much. Oh, you honored. Thank you. You honored the fact that it's dinner time. I didn't want to be bothered. I said, you know, okay, thank you so much. Um, And then now when we get to it, two weeks down the line, imagine how many times you do that. Two weeks down the line. Now it's like you're getting all them phone calls back. People underestimate the thought of sowing a seed. It works in relationships. It works with dating. It works with business. It works sowing the seed. Letting a person decide. Give them the facts and let them decide. It works. But what I've noticed is I've had to do a sales job. I've had to go and sell like weight loss products. I've had to go into IT. I've had to go into different areas. I'm doing this right now. All right. This is not playing drums. They're going on tour. I went into different areas releasing my wisdom, releasing creativity, releasing what I have inside of me and just providing value to people in ways I never thought I could. Don't set yourself up for failure. Don't set yourself up in stone early and say, well, I'm going to do this. This is what things change. Things, there's never a day that I thought I'd actually write a book. And for people that are in my, my category, my league or whatever, they're probably just like, man, because these people are just, not I say just, but they're playing music and touring. And it's just like, that's it. But you have to get to a point where you have to understand your, your life is going to go somewhere else. I respect people who just have their passion and they do whatever their passions are. But when you set yourself up, and I get it, that's why I said at, at such a young age, 18 is young. 18 is very young. I'm going to go into school, and I'm going to get this, and I'm going to do this. And when you're on your third year, you're like, I don't know if I want to do that. <sighs> you in a hole, $124,000. Damn. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> if we're building our purposes and our passions over here, man, you got to stick to it. The same way you have a passion doing something that you enjoy is the same way you have a passion in doing something that you did not enjoy. Prime example. I love playing drums. I love playing drums. I love playing drums. Woo! Love playing it. So I'm going to do it. Do I make money doing it? Absolutely. I love songwriting. Do I love doing it? Yes. Do I make money? Absolutely. Do I make money for a team that I have built to help me do it? Absolutely. On the other end, I hate the fact that I was divorced. Twice. 
I hate the fact that I can't raise my children in the same household. I hate the fact that I went through issues with my weight. I hate the fact that I went through issues with mental abuse. I hate the fact that I went through issues with physical abuse. So what do I do? I write about it. I do videos. I coach you guys. Look at what's happening here. You have my passions and my love telling you how to get to these areas. And you have the things that I've hate, the things that I've suffered with. And when you couple those together, I have income. <laughs> I have income. The things that I love and the things that I hate, I have income. You like playing basketball, but you were molested as a child. You have income. You can teach other people how to heal once your healing process is done. You can write a book. Just imagine you write a book. You sell 1.7 million copies in five years. Just telling a story, an initial investment of $5,200, getting books together. This is purpose building we do over here, guys. I want you to understand, you're not destined to one area. A lot of you guys are fearful too, guys and gals. You're fearful. This is one dude. I know, it's actually a few people I know. I moved to Atlanta and they were like amazing musicians where I'm at. Amazing musicians. What? Killing the game, making money, touring, traveling. Then they got to Atlanta. I'm like, oh yeah, I cook too. I got a business cooking. Like, oh, shoot. Sure. Oh yeah, I'm a photographer. I got a business in photography. Oh, oh, sh oh yeah, I, I, I make shoelaces. Like, uh, because I'm starting to realize, yo, there's no shame in chasing what you want to do, but a lot of people will shame you. And it's only the people that care about how they've learned about you that shame you. Have you noticed that? Like, oh, she's a, she's an entrepreneur. She sells cookies, right? She bakes cookies, she sells cookies. We love that. We love that. Oh my gosh, you're so great. You're so great. We love that. We love that. We love that. But the moment she decides that she want to start doing taxes, doing credit repair, it's like, she ain't even working them cookies. Y'all have to stop being afraid of what other people think. Because you'll find a lot of things that you really want to do in your heart are destined by God anyway. They're destined. All right. So listen, man, stop following that yellow brick road thinking that you're going to get to that pot of gold it's not going to happen that yellow brick road is a pig a figment of your imagination you have to follow all the roads that you want to do and i'm not saying extend so much energy that you have no time for freedom or fun but what i'm saying is when you put all your eggs in one basket you can lose one of my friends he works three jobs and i'm like dude you make like five hundred thousand dollars you could just quit one and you'll still be at like $300,000. Why? So, because what happens if that job fires me? I'm asked out. If I live in a house that's only $350,000, I make this amount of money a year. I'm paying off this house. I didn't go get no mansion. But my security is knowing that I at least still have two other investments at this given time, being that the jobs are paying to keep my business operating while I'm in the startup cost section. Man, y'all gotta, woo! There's so much knowledge that you can get from just doing things that are smart and chasing things that you wanna do, all right? But you guys have to get out the, the you gotta get out your own way. You have to stop, stop caring about what other people think. And you have to stop trying to floss on social media because everybody's flossing and whatever is common is starting to become unattractive. You don't build mystery with common. You don't. All right, man, listen, I hope this helped you. If you need some insight onto figuring out how you can get to your passion, how you can get to your purpose, contact me, Don, at theluminoushorizon.org or go to theluminoushorizon.org. And listen, them things that you have, them secrets, we will write a disclaimer, all right? The things that you have, the secrets that you have, I will keep them held together. I have no reason to tell your secrets because I'm not the type of person that's going to gossip and, and, and venture and get something out of it. The only thing I want out of what you tell me is what you're going to get out of it. Okay. Nothing is too, I've heard it all. Nothing is too embarrassing to tell me so that I can tell you how you can make that very shameful thing work for you. Trust me because it's worked for me and the very few people that I've coached so far. Don J. Luminous Surprises, shedding light on limited perceptions as always. Be lit.